Hi there, I'm Steve Hoberman. I've been a data modeler for over 30 years. I teach data modeling. I organize events on data modeling. I write about data modeling. Even when I'm not data modeling, I'm still thinking about data modeling. And in the next 90 seconds, I'm gonna share with you how to read a data model. Okay, let's go. Here we have three entities, cookie, ingredient, and supplier, and two relationships. The symbols in the relationship indicate zero, one, or many. The symbols on the inside of the relationship, whenever there's a zero, it's read as may. And without the zero, the one is read as must. The symbols on the outside of the relationship indicate one or many. To read a relationship, break the relationship down into two parts and use the word each, each because we're referring to an instance of the entity. Work your way clockwise around each relationship. So here on this model, each cookie must, we say must because there's a one near ingredient, contain many ingredients. Each ingredient may, we say may because there's a zero here near cookie, may belong to many cookies. Each supplier may provide many ingredients. Each ingredient must be provided by one supplier. If you are using a different data modeling notation or a data modeling tool where your models do not look exactly like this, you can map these symbols to that notation or the modeling tool. 